When this man, Stanley, found a strange creature that had been hidden for years, he did something amazing. From a young age, Stanley had always loved animals. He impulsively cared for them and felt a strong urge to help them since they are often unable to help themselves. Stanley's undying love for animals began at the age of 14 when he rescued a stray pup. Ever since then, he went out of his way to rescue animals, but nothing could have prepared him for the strange animal he would encounter in 2011. This animal had already given up on life and was patiently waiting for his death. After graduating college where he studied zoology, Stanley decided to start his own animal rescue. He had always been a lover of nature, so he left the city where he had grown up and traveled to a small village to set up the rescue. The first pet he rescued was a stray cat. Then two pups came next, and soon he had ten animals, followed by many other pets that he found in need of help. He didn't stop there. He also worked hard to ensure they were placed in loving homes. Stanley was content for a period of time. Every aspect of his life seemed to be running smoothly, and he had no problems rescuing animals until he took a journey to a forest located hundreds of kilometers from home. This trip changed everything for Stanley. Stanley had a special fondness for camping in forests, as it was something he used to do with his father when he was growing up. Now that his dad was gone, Stanley would often visit the forest to remember those peaceful and beautiful moments they had shared together. However, this trip would be unlike any other before it. After being away from the forest for three years due to work, Stanley was glad to be back, but as he ventured deeper into the thick parts of the forest, he noticed that a lot had changed since his last visit. Before getting busy with work, Stanley used to go there every weekend when he first moved to the village. The forest had a strange feeling to it, with clearings in some parts and empty cans, rags and other signs that someone had been living there for quite some time. It was almost as if something sinister lurked in the shadows of the trees, giving off an aura of danger. Dismissing his fear, Stanley gathered his camping materials and began setting up. He didn't want to be intimidated out of staying in the forest, so he pushed aside those thoughts and continued with his preparations. As the evening sky darkened, Stanley prepared a campfire and began to roast some grass-cutter meat he had cut at the edge of the forest. Having finished his preparations, he soon found himself feeling restless. The birds that had been providing him with some entertainment earlier had also gone quiet, so he decided to go for a walk in the forest. He grabbed his flashlight and began softly humming a song from his childhood. The temperature had dropped, and the cool breeze caressed his skin. He was completely at peace as he walked for what seemed like an hour, until he heard a faint sound in the distance, and he immediately stopped in his tracks. He was perplexed by the unfamiliar sound. It wasn't as loud and imposing as a lion's roar, nor did it resemble an elephant's neigh. It seemed to be somewhere in between. The peculiar sound left him mystified. On second thought, though, Stanley felt it was just his mind messing with him. However, he was proven wrong when the sound came again, louder than before and sounding like a cry for help. To his surprise, that's exactly what it would turn out to be. While Stanley was pondering his next move, he heard voices coming from a distance. As the minutes passed, they became louder and clearer until eventually a group of men appeared in sight. Crouching down and using the grass for cover, Stanley watched as several men passed by him, carrying circus equipment like an aerial hoop, Chinese pole, clown bicycle, and more. The sight of it made his heart race. As the men walked past him, they chuckled about their day's events, how people were astonished at the acrobatic feats of the circus animals and those who were scared by it. They also talked about how to divide up their earnings, and they made plans for the next day. As Stanley observed the scene, he began to piece together what had happened. He figured that the animal which had made the strange sound earlier was in danger and belonged to these men. Looking closer, he also noticed that the men were holding guns, but that didn't stop him from taking action. Eager to help whatever animal was making that cry for help, Stanley followed the men for about 40 minutes until they arrived at a clearing with huts and clotheslines. It was evident that these men lived there. Outside the huts, there were more men present who had guns in their possession. His curiosity had led him somewhere he never expected to be. Just then, Stanley noticed a truck parked just a few meters away from the huts, and he heard an unfamiliar sound coming from it. 
He took a few steps closer and his heart skipped a beat when he saw what was inside. An animal that looked frightened and helpless in the weak light of the man's flashlight. It was unlike anything Stanley had ever seen before. Stanley noticed that the mysterious creature was trying to escape its cage, but one of the men shouted at it and it quickly retreated into a corner. The man then exclaimed, why are we still keeping him? He's not making us any money anymore. We have to keep him for our upcoming entertainment show. After that, we can send him to heaven or hell, wherever he wants to go. Another man responded and the rest burst out laughing. When Stanley heard this, his eyes filled with tears. He was overwhelmed and disheartened as he returned to his campsite, trying to figure out what he would do next. The next day, when Stanley was sure that the men would have gone to wherever they needed to be, he rushed down to their shelter where he saw two men guarding the place. Now that there was enough natural light, Stanley was able to take a good look at the animal. To his surprise, it wasn't some strange creature like he had thought. Instead, it was one of his most beloved animals. For a few seconds, Stanley locked eyes with the creature and it seemed to be pleading for help. The creature was emaciated and weak. As soon as it saw Stanley in its hiding corner, it tried to get up but fell again. Moreover, Stanley noticed that the animal hadn't touched any of the food they had given it. Its spirit had been broken and all hope seemed lost. It was as if it was just waiting to die. Ready to play his part to deliver the animal from the hands of its callous owners, Stanley abandoned his camping plans and got in touch with the authorities as well as an animal rescue center. He informed them that a rescue mission was necessary to save this innocent creature's life. The police arrived just as the men were returning to their shelter after performing at a circus, catching them off guard and immediately arresting them. Stanley and the animal rescue team approached the creature to inspect it. Turns out the animal was an emaciated lion. He was part of a traveling circus, but after he fell sick, he was abandoned and locked up in a cage for years. I could never have guessed that it was a lion. It looked so skinny, and most of its fur had been shaved off to give it a funny appearance, Stanley explained. The lion had all sorts of skin infections, and his teeth had been declawed by the circus owners. When the animal spotted the rescuers, a spark of hope lit up in his eyes. It was as if he knew that help had finally come. I know you have endured hell on earth. Now it's time to head home to paradise, Stanley told the suffering lion. Soon, all plans were put in place and the lion was flown to a sanctuary, a privately owned refuge with more than 12,000 acres, 4,800 hectares, where this lion would have the kind of life that made up for everything he had endured. Once a month, Stanley would often visit the animal, and over time, the duo developed a great bond. This lion would never forget his human friend, who proved that there is still so much kindness left in this world. What would you have done if you were in Stanley's shoes? Thank you for watching. See you next time.